हे गाइस व्हाट्सएप दिस इज चानी एस के एस ए पी एफ आई सी वो एस फॉर हना फाइनेंस एम एम सैनो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एस ए पी कंट्रोलिंग मॉड्यूल प्रोडक्ट कॉस्टिंग शॉर्ट वीडियोज सो वाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन स्टैंडर्ड प्राइस एंड मूविंग एवरेज प्राइस दिस इज वन ऑफ द इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो एंड इफ यू आर कंप्लीटली वॉचिंग माई वीडियोज फर्स्ट टाइम प्लीज सब्सक्राइब राइट नो एंड हिट द बेल आईकॉन सो राइट नो आई एम अपलोडिंग ऑल दी शॉर्ट वीडियोज फॉर प्रोडक्ट कॉस्टिंग and you can also look at these videos in the my playlist and also you can uh, see some of the videos are available in the comment box okay so let's go to the topic and uh, so far we have uploaded uh, regarding what is product costing uh, what is uh, objectives of the product costing and uh, preparing for costing and product costing integration and material cost estimate with quantity structure when the bill of material and today uh, role of bill of materials and usage of uh, bom in mrp and moving average price and standard price so today topic is moving average price and the standard price very important concept in the interview perspective and uh, most of the interview will try to ask you uh, what is moving average price and standard price how the material should be uh, price should be calculated so what price we need to maintain in the material master so this is a very important topic see generally in material master so we need to maintain two prices either you need to maintain moving average price or standard price so sap strongly recommended sap uh, strongly recommended that standard price used for finished or semi finished materials so generally for standard price standard price generally denotes s moving average price denotes v so sap recommend that standard price usually used for finished and semi finished materials for external purchases and for raw materials for external purchases and for raw materials generally moving average price should be considered okay for semi finished and finished materials um, generally standard price for external purchases and raw materials moving average price should be considered so while going to new client implementation okay so it's completely new client implementation for moving average price will be get updated and based on the initial stock load with value so at the time of initial stock load with value um, generally moving average price should be considered but standard price control as will be updated based on the standard cost estimations so how the standard cost estimation will be happen so these things will be i uploaded in the coming sessions okay for standard cost calculation generally standard price should be used okay the moving average price is constantly recurring calculation so which could be potentially change with each invoice and goods receipt also so moving average price is not same for entire uh, all the all over the country and uh, the material price is not same so it should be recurring calculation and uh, there is one formula is there for calculation of the moving average price and which could potentially change with each invoice and goods receipt also so what is the formula for moving average price here i have given the formula moving average price equal to products on hand value plus new products value so earlier whatever the products you have that value and new products which you have recently purchased so that by total number of products then you will find the moving average price see we are calculating based on the average price so moving average price is a inventory costing method and uh, where the average price is calculated after obtaining the goods the average cost each inventory item stock is recalculated after every inventory purchase so once you purchase the inventory so there is different uh, price uh, that moving uh, the average price is different and earlier what you have purchased that price is also different but uh, so we need to consider overall average price so for that point of view so product on value cost see this is the product on hand value that means earlier whatever the products you have that moving average price plus new products currently in hand so that you need to be calculate by total number of products then you will find the moving average price and what is the standard price standard price generally used for the uh, finished products and semi finished products okay so um, this is for so valuation this is generally used for the stand if you are using standard price definitely there is price difference will come at the time of goods receipt so price difference account so the purchase order value is 100 rupees in material master you have maintained 110 rupees then the difference amount will goes to price difference account so if you maintain standard price in the material master 
so all inventory postings are carried out uh, at the standard price okay variance are posted in the price difference account so variance are updated and price changes can be monitored okay standard price is nothing but all inventory postings all inventory postings can be carried out to standard price generally standard price used for the semi finished and finished products and variance are posted to price difference account it's a, this is one of the important thing and variance are updated okay and price changes can be monitored so here whatever the difference is there like the purchase order and goods receipt invoice so let's say if you maintain standard price in the metal master so uh, if purchase or uh, metal master price is 100 rupees and purchase price is uh, 110 rupees then the difference amount will goes to price difference account but in case of moving average price the difference amount will goes to stock it should be included in stock okay so if material is assigned to standard price the value of material is always calculated the price if the goods movement and invoice receipt contain price that differ from the standard price the difference are posted in the price difference account the variance uh, is not taken into account uh, in valuation okay so this is about uh, uh, difference between the moving average price and standard price and uh, some of the scenarios also there regarding this okay so those scenarios already explained to our, uh, our Chinese and in the last session I explained about the bill of material and uh, one more session about routing and uh, um, uh, work centers these are completely master data so in uh, uh, PP module there are three types of master data we have bill of material routing work, uh, work centers so I will going to explain these topics in the next sessions thank you so much for your support this is Chani SK signing off